The Dead Sea is the lowest place on the continental Earth, about 440 meters below sea level. Since the mid-20th century, its level has been dropping by about 50 meters. This significant level drop is due to increased diversion of water from its catchment areas in Israel, Jordan and Syria, as well as pumping of Dead Sea brine to the evaporation ponds by the Dead Sea chemical industries. Sinkholes were first seen along the Dead Sea in the early 1980s. They are formed by dissolution of a subsurface salt layer by fresh groundwater in response to the level drop of the Dead Sea. By now, thousands of sinkholes have formed along the newly exposed Dead Sea floor. Some of these sinkholes formed randomly within the dry streambeds. Between 2011 and 2023, the morphology of the Tseir-Lim alluvial fan changed dramatically. Specifically, a sinkhole lineament developed rapidly towards the shoreline. At the same time, a new sinkhole formed and widened at the bed of one of the southern streams of the Tseir-Lim fan. By 2018, this sinkhole traversed the entire width of the stream and blocked the water from flowing further east into the Dead Sea. Flash floods occur several times a year in streams that flow to the Dead Sea. In this film, we will show unique examples of interactions between flash floods, sinkholes, subsurface salt dissolution, and landscape evolution in the Tseir-Lim fan at the southern part of the Dead Sea. The movies were captured by time-lapse cameras that were directed to streambeds and shoreline sinkholes with snapshot intervals of 10 seconds. Since 2011, flood water drains into sinkholes in the Tseir-Lim fan. As the water reaches the subsurface salt layer, it dissolves it, and the layers above subside into the growing cavities. The surface basins that develop above the cavities create space for larger floodwater volumes triggering further subsurface dissolution in a positive feedback process. A few hours after drainage into the streambed sinkholes, the flood water outflows from the shoreline sinkholes, suggesting that subsurface channels connect between them. In one location, the outflowing water drained back to the subsurface after several hours. The February 2023 flood event shows two examples of drainage to outflow couples that operate at different hours of the same day and with different water volumes. An early morning high volume couple and a late morning low volume couple. These, and many other observations, indicate that two separate subsurface pathways developed, one in the central, and one in the southern part of the fan. 
By 2023, all the Tsair-Lim gullies, except for the northernmost one, are drained by sinkholes and flow out through the shoreline sinkholes. Floods along the northernmost gully are only partly drained by sinkholes, and a significant fraction of flood water manages to continue as surface runoff all the way to the Dead Sea. The drained water flows out from springs along the banks of the stream and join the surface flood water. Time will tell whether future floods in this gully will also be entirely drained as in all other stream beds. During most flood events, the banks of the draining sinkholes collapse and the collapsing material washes into the sinkholes. On the outflowing end, when water levels start dropping, the land around the sinkholes also collapses and spreads laterally into the sinkholes. In summer 2021, small volcano-like mud structures were exposed on an outflowing sinkhole floor. The water outflowing from these piles contain almost 50% mud, which was transported to this location through the subsurface channels. Except for the northern gully, all the outflows from the Tsair-Lim sinkholes discharged to the Dead Sea through a single channel incised into the shoreline sediments. But our story will not be complete without these outstanding pictures of salt chimneys and cones that form within the Dead Sea itself. They provide evidence for seepage of very saline groundwater from the Dead Sea floor. As these waters get in contact with the Dead Sea brine, salt precipitates along the vertical outflow plumes in a process named outsalting. The question, where have all the waters gone? now has three possible answers. To the Dead Sea as direct flow, through subsurface pathways between drainage and outflow sinkholes, or a slow subsurface flow to the Dead Sea floor.